So my grandfather was General Paul Tibbetts, and he was the commander of the 509th Composite Group, which the 509th Bomb Wing that I'm serving in today is the uh, successor of. And he was also the pilot of the Enola Gay, which was his mother, named after his mother, and was the airplane that was used to drop the atomic bomb on Hiroshima and bring, helping to bring World War II to an end. My grandfather, if he was here today, he would tell you, look, Paul, we were, we were conducting a mission that the President of the United States uh, tasked us to do, and we knew that if this mission was successful, we would bring this war to an end, we would stop the killing on all sides, and we would bring our folks home. And despite the devastation that this particular mission caused, he knew in his heart that it would save uh, thousands of lives. You know, I was very fortunate in conversations with my grandfather to talk a little bit about, well, Paul, what are you, what are you doing? You know, what, what, what's your drive? And he told me, Paul, you just be your own person. People will know your name. You just serve and be your own person. He's a hero. He is my hero. And I look to him and his generation for creating the entire freedoms and, and the, the, everything that we enjoy today. Uh, we can reflect back to that generation for providing that to us. But my grandfather said, remember, Paul, it's up to you now. You know, we're retired. It's up to you and your generation to carry this on and defend the freedoms and protect this nation.